Welcome back to another video. This one's just going to be a short tutorial, mainly because I feel like I haven't posted on here a while, but I'm basically going to be addressing why I can't give you guys uh, the seed to my survival realm, but I will be showing you how to make a similar seed. So as you may have noticed, uh, this world looks kind of strange. There's a weird chunk error near where all of our buildings are, and that's because this is a classic sized amplified world, and there's a new infinite world generated around it. So to do this, you need a couple things, and unfortunately I'll be showing you how to do this on Xbox only, but I'm pretty sure you can make amplified worlds on the Windows 10 edition and transfer it over, but I'm not 100% sure. So anybody playing on Pocket Edition probably won't be able to do this unless there is uh, a way to generate amplified worlds on that edition, but I don't play that one, I'm not too sure. So the first thing you want to do is start up Minecraft Xbox One Edition, not the Universal Bedrock Edition, because for whatever reason, the uh, Xbox One Edition has the option to make Amplified Worlds, but the Bedrock Edition doesn't. So you want to go to the Create New World tab and uh, name the world something that you'll remember, because you're going to have to transfer it on the uh, Bedrock Edition eventually. I just named mine Amp Survival, so that way I could find it again. Then go down to more options, you want to make sure you have balanced seed and amplified world checks. It'll make the uh, entire world amplified and I have the balanced seed on so that way the entire place isn't just one seed unless that's something you prefer but I prefer to have multiple biomes in the area. And then you're going to want to change the world size to either classic or small. This will just make the world smaller than it usually is, it won't be infinite and it'll have boundaries but uh, I like to do classic because it's a lot smaller and you can get a, a lot of the new world generated around it. And you could load up the world just to see what the seed looks like. You don't want to transfer it over if this initial seed is not what you want. Uh, whenever I did this for my Amplified world, I went through several worlds and deleted them because I didn't like the original Amplified seed, but if you like the way it looks, then you can go ahead and start transferring it to the Bedrock Edition. Now just load up Bedrock Edition and go to the Worlds tab and scroll all the way down. You're going to want to find the Sync Old Worlds tab, and it'll take you to the top of the list. You just got to go back down and find whatever you named the uh, first world from the other edition. Then you just have to select the Amplified World and uh, let it convert. Bedrock Edition will automatically make the world size infinite. Uh, you could change whatever settings you want before loading it up, but if you did make it the original copy on survival, it'll stay in survival. So it's uh, obviously how I did our world, strictly survival without going into creative at all. But it'll show up uh, at the top of your list on the worlds tab and you could play it now. So you may first notice that around the Amplified world you'll see some chunk errors. That's just because the infinite world was forced to load around it, so the transitions obviously aren't going to look that neat. But uh, I like doing this because you don't have to play on an all Amplified World. Amplified Worlds can be kind of tedious to navigate, especially in the beginning if you don't have Elytra Wings. So. And it's easier to just build on areas that aren't Amplified unless you want to go for like a mountain structure like my Survival Realm setup, which is why, if you've noticed on our Survival world Realm, I have the, uh, the Fortress and the Mountains, and then we have other buildings in the non-Amplified flatter portions of the map. So it's kind of nice to not have an all Amplified World, but still have those exaggerated structures on the inside. So the only con about using this method to make the seed is that your seed's no longer universal. If I were to give you guys the seed of the survival realm, it's only going to be the seed for the infinite world that's generated around the amplified world, but it'll load in what was supposed to be on the inside, but it's not universal, which is why whenever everybody asks me for the seed for this world, I can't give it to them, otherwise they would just have the infinite world that's loaded around this, which is unfortunately a lot of desert, but that's essentially why I can't give you guys the seed. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Like I said, it was just going to be a short one that will hopefully help out most of you that wanted to seed. I know it's pretty limited to just Xbox players and potentially Windows Edition players, but uh, if you were at least curious as to why I was never telling people what the seed was, that's pretty much it. But definitely let me know if you guys end up trying this out. I'm curious to see what kind of worlds you can make with it, and uh, thank you for watching.